okay, I know what you're thinking. Where are the fire pistons? Where are the bow drills? You know, the, the flint and steel, the 9 volt battery, the steel wool. And those are all really cool and great. And it's important to know that you can start fires that way. It's important to develop that outside the box thinking that those types of methods develop. But too often, we want to survive with all these little tricks. But real survival and real prepping is just that. It's preparing. I'm not saying don't improvise or, you know what, if you, if you don't have your tools, you're just going to sit there and die. Real survival relies on the preparations you make. And good preparations include good tools, reliable tools, and consistent methods to accomplish what you want to accomplish, like matches or a lighter or even a blowtorch. What I'm saying is make sure when you prepare that you really think about what you're preparing for and you pick the best tool and or method for the job and then you use those other things as backup. Because I'd much rather rely on a big lighter that's got a few thousand lights in it than a fire piston or even flint and steel. I mean, those things work, they're great, and they've worked for hundreds of years, but they're hard, they take calories, they take work, and if you really are serious about surviving and prepping, then you need to spend time prepping with good, solid tools. So that's just the point I was trying to make. You know, the tricks are cool, the little extra fire starters are cool, but make sure that when you're prepping, you're not relying on tricks, but instead on consistent, reliable tools and methods. All right, well, thank you. If you agree, let me know in the comments below. If you disagree, which of course is more likely, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the new little bell notification thing. Apparently, YouTube is getting crazy, and I don't have enough followers yet for that to even matter, but it gets crazy. So get the bell so you know when I put out new videos, and as always, thank you for watching Survival Defense Lab, and stay awesome.